Indeed. All right. Well, COVID-19 shattering old records from new cases reported to patients so sick with the virus they need to be hospitalized. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Richard Ransom and I'm Katina Rankin. Now today, those with the health department said they could be left with little choice but to put certain restrictions back in place. There's nothing decided yet, but local 24 news reporter Brad Broder shows you the toll COVID is taking. I lost my sense of smell. I couldn't smell it at all. Didn't matter what it was, I couldn't smell it. For Anderson Guy, first came the symptoms, then came the positive test days after a family gathering. You have to be careful with anybody, even like the ones you love. If you were walking around them, you could possibly get it too, just like me. Guy and his fiancee, Deandra Henderson, who tested negative, are now wrapping up their quarantine in Memphis. It's not a joke. It's not a game. I think every day has just been, I've been more worried than I have been in my entire life. This couple is a microcosm of a skyrocketing record surge of COVID-19 in Shelby County, which set new highs Tuesday for one-day cases and hospitalizations. This is a very critical time. Tuesday, those of the Shelby County Health Department said it's increasingly likely some temporary restrictions could return to stabilize the situation. Places where people work out or go out to eat could be impacted first based on the trends of 450 people recently infected. We know that any place that people gather and don't wear a mask is a place for transmission. So those are things like gyms, limited service restaurants, and so on. With family and friends gatherings also contributing to the sharp uptick in new COVID cases, health experts and this couple suggested scaling back or canceling planned holiday events. I really encourage you to think about the activities that you engage in and wearing masks when you're around others. We are fortunate that we didn't get the worst parts of the symptoms, but it could have been worse. Later this week, Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris will meet with other county mayors in West Tennessee in the hopes leaders in those 21 counties without a mandatory mask mandate will implement one soon so the region can be more on the same page. Reporting out the Shelby County Health Department, Brad Broder, Local 24 News.